so do users. So today I found this, which is, well, it, it was it was a little accessory that came with um, uh, the vortex manipulator and Journal of Impossible Things. Uh, those were two Doctor Who toys that were released a while back, actually. Um, and this came with it. It was that. Now it's kind of like a beating up Smith and Jones version, if you've watched that episode, which is what actually it kind of is. Uh, a while back, I did a video. It was um, of this basically. I beat it up because I was I was bored. It was already kind of beat up, so I just went over it with a lighter, which was extremely dangerous. I would never do that again. Dangerous. I would never do that again. And um, I put it on YouTube. Yeah, but it's kind of pointless. I know, but. And now it's just kind of this. But you read the title. I am making, or well, I'm, I'm planning on making a prototype for the te my own custom, custom kind of uh, tenth Doctor Sonic screwdriver. Uh, the actual uh, end result I'm hoping will be better than the prototype if I do actually manage to do the prototype, which I'm going to try my best to, and blah blah blah. But it's going to look something like this in the end, except extending, hopefully. Um, no, not, not literally something like what it is now, but what it once was. And it will have light, and pro probably not so, but possibly. Uh, so yeah. Um, this, it's, no, it's a thimble. No, this is, uh, I picked up a thimble. This is, um, it's small, I know. This is small and it doesn't extend. But like I said, I'm hoping to make a proto, to make a pro prototype of, um, the 10th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver, looking something like that, maybe a bit bigger, uh, maybe not as big as the CO toy, but not as small as this, just a bit bigger than this, because whilst this is probably the most accurate toy, um, it's not, it's not, but it's kind of too small. I mean, my hands aren't huge, my hands are actually quite small, um, but even then this isn't the greatest size, it's not that comfortable. But it'll be something like that, um, I'll try and get the correct detail on it, but um, that might not be on the prototype. Um, so yeah, just keeping you updated on that because I haven't made a video in um, in a while because I have no ideas. And I forgot to mention. Just just give me a minute. I don't know whether I put these two online, but I got this a while back. The mini Sonic screwdriver. It's actually working for once. I've actually never heard that work. Because when I got it, the batteries were drained. Definite. Um, and uh, with the, oh, and the thirteenth Doctor Sonic screwdriver. It's a bit fat. But it's it's a bit. I mean, I love the design. Don't get me wrong. It's just a bit fat. That's all. But I think this is a really cool. Actually, not a big fan of the costume design though for Jodie Whittaker at all. Um, because it's like a mix of some of the old and new series Doctors. It's not very good. Anyway. But this is that sonic screwdriver. Hopefully, just hopefully, I might be making a uh, sonic screwdriver, I don't know, based off of this. But that'll probably be in future videos a lot later on, because, I mean, it's going to be hard to do. Also, there was, uh, if you want to buy it now, you can actually find it second-hand sellers. In Comic-Con, they were selling the first version of this, which the emitter did spin on the second press. I even though that had more in it than this one, it was for some reason thinner, and I thought that was pretty cool. This one doesn't do that, but it's still really cool. Um, so I might be making a prototype of that. But coming up, hopefully and possibly soon, um, would be a prototype of the Tenth Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. As an example, it would probably be I'd probably use a pen, maybe a bit stronger than this one because this is kind of weak, it cracks easily, and um, it'd be something like this for the. Um, the inner part, like the pillar, the, uh, the, um, I can't, I think, uh, the, uh, transparent pillar with the wires inside, which I can get hold of some wires, wires, I always find them on the floor, and, uh, on, um, it, the slider will be something like this, and, uh, I can't explain it in the video, I know how it's gonna work, or at least for the prototype, um, but basically, uh, the slider will go in here and then everything else will go together and it will hopefully work. I've got a good idea of it. it. might look stupid. 
that's because it's a prototype and it's not even the final thing and I might not even be doing this one uh this this idea but hopefully uh yeah stay on, uh, updated on I'll s I'm just trying to keep you updated on that because um hopefully that video will be made soon also look what I've got metallic uh so metal earth it's a Dalek basically it's um sorry for the words being backwards Doctor Who gold Dalek steel model kit no glue required so yeah you make it by hand it's basically like a puzzle and you make a 3d Dalek out of this how cool is that also I have three yeah I think I have three no I have two others I have I'm hoping to get canine but I have two of that uh, two others I have a Cyberman a uh, tenant style uh, Cyberman I think how cool does that look and it's actually I, I think it, it it's um about this big but still that's really cool and the TARDIS I'm really excited about that one it's the TARDIS how cool is that and Metal Earth I'm pretty sure it's based off a series uh sorry an episode name uh, I think look at those so uh, also stay um you know uh those videos will definitely be coming up, uh, making those. Um, they'll take a while to make, actually, so I'll have to cut the video short. But, um, oh, and of course, uh, a while ago, I think maybe, possibly, my last video, I told you I would uh, be making a film with my uncle called The Catacombs. Hopefully there'll be a Doctor Who one as well, but for now it'll just be the film that I'm making with my uncle, my sister as my psychic and that, called The Catacombs. Catacombs is, I think, the Roman word, don't quote me on it, but I think it's the Roman word for underground burial. And um, it's basically a graveyard underground. It's really scary. It's a real thing. But making a movie out of it, of them like coming alive and stuff, that'd be uh, very cool. So that movie, short film, really. Short film, that should be coming up soon. I don't know whether it's going to be half an hour long, an hour long. Uh, most things I'm talking about in this video I haven't planned yet, other than these, because um, I'll definitely be doing these. But I, I, I don't know for sure, I'm not certain I will be doing anything else um, that I've said in this video, other than other than the catacombs. Um, that movie, this most probably, no, this most probably, most probably, 98% uh, let's say. Or ninety percent, and this um, I'm not really going to discuss too much. I'm making a prototype of this because, like I said, it's going to be a while, so there's no point in talking about it yet. Um, otherwise, that's just no point. But yeah, sorry, I haven't been doing videos in a while. By the way, um, but the reason why I didn't make a review of this and haven't made a review of the floating throttle the Sonic screwdriver yet is honestly because I forgot. Yeah, I forgot. I, I made a video. It wasn't really a review, so I didn't put it up. It was just me being really excited about getting it. Uh, I didn't put that up though, because I just look like a lunatic. And uh, but I will possibly be making a review of the Sony screwdriver. Yeah, I forgot about that. So, I was, um, and this I never made a review of because um, it's, it's minuscule. I don't know what I'm supposed to make a, a review on it about. I hate that noise. Listen to that. Sorry for deafening you if it does, but. That sounds horrible. It's kind of bright, actually. Yeah, uh, sorry for definitely there. Um, thank you for watching this video. Please do like and subscribe if you enjoyed, um, if you want to. And I'd, I'd love to see. Please um, give me some links to your videos if you made it. If you've made any Doctor Who related things, or if you've done any Doctor Who related things that you think I might be interested in, or made your own prototypes or sonic screwdrivers and stuff because I don't see that much online anymore of that um, on YouTube or anywhere really um, so I'm hoping to make one of those videos um, I do shout out I do have a shout out for someone uh, his name is I'm not sure what his name is uh, but this this guy he he I say guys like my age I think Maybe a bit older. He also makes custom sonic screwdrivers, metal custom sonic screwdrivers, and they're amazing. He's made them all by hand. They light up the base of real screwdrivers, and some of them even extend. Um, it's really cool. He's really good at. I think his name's 
Drew Spicer or Drew Spad? Drew Spicer. I'm pretty sure his name is. Sorry if I've got that wrong, but shout out to him. He's really good at all that. He's um he's really good at that. That's it. He's really good. And um yeah, so uh, good luck with his next project if there are any coming up. And um yeah, so thanks for watching this video. Like and subscribe if you feel like it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.